Hi everybody, Kristen Heath from Premier Fitness. Today we'll be doing a chest workout. Most of the workout will be timed. We're gonna do some push-ups to start off with though. Before we get into anything else, we'll wanna grab a little bit of equipment. So it's optional, but a mat since we will be on the floor for some of the workout. So if you want one, have one, go ahead and grab that. You'll need some form of weights. So I have dumbbells here. You could also use a jug of water or a water bottle, maybe a thermos filled with water, anything like that. Preferably something that you have two of the same weight, since we'll be doing a floor press, both arms at the same time. So you're gonna want something that the weights match for. I also have a jug of water I'll be using for some other exercises, so you can use that as well if you have one. So we're gonna get into some warm-up stretches and then right into the workout. So let's start with a press motion. You're gonna have your arms straight out at your sides like this, and you're gonna bring your arms together like this, palms together, kind of squeeze together when your arms are at this point. Come back out. And again, bring your arms back together, palms together. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. Make sure you're bringing your arms back a little bit further than this point. Go back just a little bit extra. So you're stretching out your back and warming up your back a little bit as well. Since your back is used during push-ups and a lot of chest exercises. All right. And the next one we're going to do is a chest opening exercise. So put your hands on the back of your head, just rest them there, make sure you're not pushing on your head at all, don't strain your neck. And you're just gonna bring your elbows back and release. Just like this, push them back a little further and then bring them back together in front of you and do that a few more times. So elbows back and in front again. Push your elbows back forward, back one more time, and forward. Now we're going to do that press motion again, but have your palms facing down this time. So instead of facing out away from you, and then bringing them together, just keep them down. Quite similar to when we did this the first time. All right. And now you're gonna keep your arms out at your sides and just rotate your palms back and forth. You can have them both up and then move them both down, both back at the same time, or you can have them opposite, like left one up and right one down and then alternate. This helps warm up your rotator cuff, which helps stabilize your shoulders. And a lot of these workouts do hit your shoulders as well. So that's why we included that. So first, we're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna do 10 reps of push-ups, rest a little bit, and then do 10 more. And then we'll get into the timed portion of our workout, and I'll walk you through those exercises as we get to them. So if you have your mat out, you get on your mat, get ready to do push-ups. You can do kneeling push-ups if you're unable to do normal push-ups. So if you're doing push-ups normally, rest on your feet. Make sure the rest of your body is nice and straight. You want to have your arms out in front of you, slightly wider than your shoulders. Make sure your neck is relaxed. You're gonna come down so that you're able to break 90 degrees with your arm. So just like this. And if you're able to do them like that, you can go ahead and do 10 of those. If you're not able to do them like that, you can rest on your knees instead, or you could use a stable raised surface, like rest your hands up on your stairs so you can do incline push-ups, or you could do them just on the wall. So those are the variations that they get easier, regular, kneeling, incline, and then wall push-ups, so do whatever ones you're able to do. And let's do 10 right now. You don't have to keep exact pace with me, Try to make sure you get 10 if you're able to, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's 
rest briefly, and then we'll do 10 more before we get into the rest of our workout. Drink some water if you need to. During the rest, you can just relax. You don't have to keep your heart rate up or keep moving or anything. All right, get ready to start the next 10 push-ups. You can do any variation you'd like. I'll be doing kneeling for this round. And I'll face this way so you can see how my arms are. We'll come down, break 90, 10 times, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Rest a minute before we get into the rest of our workout. I'm going to get my timer app up. So we'll be doing floor press and spend press first. Then after we do five rounds of those exercises, we'll do chest flies and overhead press. And we'll do those ones for four rounds. Let me get this started. And I'll walk us through each exercise as we get to it. So this will play three beeps in the last three seconds of every workout or every rest. So you'll know when it's coming up to the end. So if you have a mat, go ahead and get on that. Grab your weights. We'll be doing the floor press, so you'll want your two matching weights. And get ready. So we'll lay down, back flat on the floor. Your legs are going to be bent to help stabilize you as opposed to having your legs straight out. And it's gonna be similar to a bench press. So if you know how to bench press, this is the same thing just on the floor. So your arms are gonna barely tap against the floor at the bottom of the movement. You're gonna push up. Don't lock your arms out. Make sure there's a very slight bend in them. Then come back down. Barely tap off the floor. You don't wanna rest on the floor. And then back up. And repeat that. It'll help if you breathe out when you push up. All right, set those weights down. Get ready for the spend press. So I'm grabbing my water jug for this. You can grab whatever weight you have. Put it in between your hands. Put your palms facing together, fingers away from you. You're going to start with it barely touching against your chest. And you're going to push it out away from you. Make sure you don't lock your arms all the way out push out on a very slight bend, come back in, and repeat just like that. Almost done with this, and we'll have a rest before we repeat these two four more times. All right. We've got about a 30 second rest each time we have a rest. So 15 more seconds and we'll start that floor press. You can go ahead and get situated. I'll face this way this time. All right, five seconds, get ready, lay down on your mat, grab those matching weights and go. Try to keep moving and performing this exercise for the whole time. Keep your back flatter on the floor. You may need to engage your abs a little bit to make sure you stay balanced. Make sure you're not swaying either way. Just and you'll notice my arms are kind of staying in the same line right here. You don't want to have them out like this or in closer to you like that. All right, get ready for that press again. Grab that weight, hands facing together, fingers away from you, and go. You'll find it helps if you push in on the weight more, as opposed to just resting your hands against it. Kind of push together, keep that weight in place.
10 more seconds, and then we got another rest. All right. Drink your water. You can sit down, just stand where you're at, whatever you need to do. We've got three more rounds with these two exercises. 10 more seconds. Get ready to start that four press again. All right, you start. Remember to make sure you're not locking those arms out. This exercise is primarily for working your chest, but you'll probably feel that it works your shoulders a little bit as well. Now, if you usually use heavier weights but don't have access to those, try to really focus on those muscles that you're working and use your time under tension. Just let it down slower. All right, sit back up, put those weights down. Grab your other weight, or the same weight if you're using that, and press and press. Start that. Try to keep moving for the whole time set for the exercise. This again is primarily for working your chest. It also works your shoulders quite a bit too. And you'll feel it in your triceps as well. 10 more seconds. Keep going. All right, now the rest. Just a couple more rounds left for those exercises. All right, about 10 more seconds, so let's get ready to start that floor press again. And start. Try to keep that back flat on the floor. Breathe out when you push the weights up. Make sure you're not breathing out after the weights are already up. Breathe out as they're going up away from you. And try to keep your arms pretty even. Don't have one all the way down here when the other one's just starting to come back down. All right, set down those weights. Get ready for the press again. Same thing as before. Barely touch it up against you. When you come back to that point of the movement. Fifteen more seconds. Make sure the rest of your body is nice and stable. You're only moving with your upper body right now. All right, another rest. We've got one more round of those two exercises, and then we'll get to our next two. I'll show you those when we get to them. You need to you can stretch out a little bit keep a little bit of movement going get ready to start that floor press now one more time and go back flat on the floor arms barely tapping down the floor before they come up try not to rest them there Remember to keep breathing during this. Almost done. All right, set those weights.
weights down. Get ready for that press and go. It's the last round with this. Try to keep moving. We got another rest right after this. Almost done. All right. So keep resting. I'm gonna show you the other two exercises while you keep resting so you're ready to start. You can use whatever weight you have. We'll be doing one arm at a time for this. It'll be chest flies. So you'll have a slight bend in your arm. We're starting with the right arm. You're gonna start right here, bring it up to about shoulder level, hold it briefly, and bring it back down. You'll wanna keep that same angle in your arm. Make sure you're not curling it up. You're working your chest muscles. So you wanna keep that same angle in your arm. So the whole movement. And if you don't have a dumbbell, you could use whatever else you have with a handle, such as a drop of water, or maybe holding on to just a regular water bottle. All right, then we're gonna have an overhead press next. So I hold the weight on the bottom. You're gonna start right here with it barely touching your chest. You're gonna bring your head back slightly so it's not in the way. You're just gonna push up without locking your arms out, have a slight bend in your arm, and come back down. Just like that. I'll show you that with this weight real quick and then we'll get started. It's the same thing. Your palms will be facing together, kind of holding on towards the bottom of the weight. Make sure your head's back out of the way without straining your neck back too much. Just push up like that. Don't lock your arms out. And back down. And repeat. All right, let's get ready to start that. So we'll do right arm chest flies, left arm chest flies, Overhead press, we'll repeat that four times and we'll have a rest each time, of course. All right, grab that weight and start your chest flies, get ready. Starting with the right arm. And go. Slight bend in that arm, bring it up, try to hold it briefly at the top and let it back down. Make sure you're only moving with the arm that you're working at the time. Let the rest of your body stay nice and still and stable. All right, switch to the left one, get ready to start. And go, slight bend in that arm, bring it up, hold briefly, and back down. This again is primarily for working your chest. It does work your shoulders a little bit, especially that front shoulder muscle, your anterior deltoid, and you'll feel it in your triceps a little bit as well. All right, you're ready to start that overhead press with whatever weight you're using, and go. Once again, keep the rest of your body nice and stable. If you don't want to be swaying back and forth any as you're performing the movement, you're just moving with your upper body. You don't have to force your back into standing too straight, but don't exaggerate that arm either. This is how you naturally stand. Keep going, you're almost done. All right, a 30 second rest. I'll only repeat those exercises three more times. Right, 20 more seconds. You can relax, shake it out. I'm gonna grab my weight to get ready for those chest flies again. Five seconds. Again, we're starting with the right arm. We'll always start with the right arm. And go. Notice how I'm keeping it closer to my body. 
You don't have to keep it like that, exactly flush against. But make sure you're not out like that either. Just like this. And get ready to switch. Left side now. And start. Same thing, closer to your body. Try to hold it briefly at the top and let it down slow. Make sure you're not straining your neck, just look straight ahead. Keep it relaxed. Five more seconds. All right. Grab that plate for the overhead press and go. Breathe out when you push the weight up. And breathe in as you're bringing it back down. All right, 20 seconds, keep going. Seconds, you're almost done. All right, another rest. And we only got two more rounds left. Drink your water if you need to, sit down and relax if you've got a chair available. Remember, if you like these workouts or any other workouts you we do. You can like us on Facebook, Asheville County Medical Center, and we also have a YouTube page you can check out, Asheville County Medical Center or Premier Fitness. All right, right arm chest flies. Go. We're already halfway done with this side. Keep going. Almost there. All right, switch it to your left hand. Get ready to start. And go. It doesn't really matter where you rest your other arm. You can have it down at your side like this. I find it comfortable just to have it across my stomach like that. Whatever is comfortable for you, as long as the rest of your body is nice and stable and you're only moving with the arm you're working. All right. Get ready for that overhead chest press again. And go. Remember not to lock your arms out, just hop the movement. Keep going, you're almost done. Only got one more round after this. Got one more round and then we'll do some cool downs and you're completely done with this workout. Take a drink of water. All right, 10 seconds. You're ready to start the last round. Starting with chest flies on the right arm. And go. Feeling it primarily right here, the upper chest, that front shoulder muscle. You're almost done, five more seconds. Switch that to your left hand and get ready to start. And go. seconds. All right. Switch to the overhead press one last time and go. Make sure you keep breathing through the movement. Don't be straining your neck too far back. 
just far enough so it's out of the way of the weight. You may feel this in your back a little bit as well because it does work your traps. It's the last exercise we have for this workout. Try to keep going. Almost done. And stop. Let me hit pause on this, close it out. Let's get right to that pull down so we can be finished up. So it's going to be quite similar to the warm up we did. We're going to start with that press motion. Have your arms out at your sides. You're going to bring your palms together, squeeze those muscles, and back out. Just like this. Together and back out. Let's do that five more times, all right? One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do a cross body arm stretch because, like I said, a lot of those workouts hit your shoulders as well. So we're going to start with the right arm, bring it over with your left hand, pull it back gently. Deepen that stretch. So you'll see naturally my arm stops about right here. So I use my left one, pull it back slightly, hold it, take a deep breath, and release. Do that again on the left side. All right, let's repeat that two more times on each side. Now the left side. Right arm one more time. And left arm one more time. Now we're gonna do that chest opening stretch, but we're gonna hold it for a little longer than we did during the warm up. So rest your hands in the back of your head. Remember not to push down on it. You don't want to frame your neck. And you're gonna bring your elbows back as far as you can and hold it there. Take a deep breath. Release, and let's do that four more times. You want to bring your elbows back as hard as you can and hold it. All right, bring those elbows forward again and back. Hold it. Forward, elbows back again and hold it. All right, forward and back one more time. Hold it there, release, flush your arms down. And the last one, we've got an overhead tricep stretch. So you're gonna bring your right arm up overhead, bend the elbow, use your left hand to grab onto that right elbow, and pull back gently. Make sure you're not forcing it back too much. So right about here, then pull it back, hold it, deep breath, and release your arms down to your sides. And now left side, so bring that left arm up, bend it, drive it with your right hand, and just gently pull back to deepen that stretch. Take a deep breath, and release. Do that two more times on each arm. Right arm, release, left arm, release, right arm once more, Release, and left arm once more. All right, shake out your arms if you need to, just loosen up. That's the end of the workout. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Ashtabula County Medical Center. We also upload all of these workout videos to our YouTube page, Premier Fitness, and the Ashtabula County Medical Center YouTube page. So you can check those out too. Hope you liked it.